Have you ever wondered what happens when something burns? Well, in this example, propane reacts with oxygen to form water and carbon dioxide, all of which are in their gaseous state. There has to be the same number of every type of atom on both sides of the equation. So I'll add some numbers so everything balances out. Now let's take a look at propane. Here is its Lewis structure. Here is its 3D structure. You might find it interesting that every one of the angles is 109 degrees. This would be easier to visualize if we had a 3D model. Now let's look at the other reactant, oxygen. Here is its Lewis structure. But remember, there were five oxygen molecules in the equation, so we need four more. Before the reaction can take place, the bonds must be broken. How much energy does it take to break the oxygen's bond? Zero, because it's an element in its elemental form. Propane, though, requires 104.7 kilojoules per mole to break its bonds. And we are assuming that we're using one mole of propane. Now the reaction can take place. Now, we'll imagine there are bonds so we can examine the molecules. This is water. And this is carbon dioxide. Now we'll see how much energy is released when the new bonds are formed. Here's water, and here's carbon dioxide. Now I'll add those two together and subtract the amount of energy it took to break the first bonds to get the total amount of energy released in the reaction. The change in enthalpy for the reaction, though, is the amount of energy absorbed by the reaction, so it would be the opposite. This is what is called complete combustion. It's what happens if there's plenty of oxygen for the reaction to take place. If there isn't enough oxygen, incomplete combustion takes place. What if, instead of having five oxygen molecules, there's only three and a half. But you can't have half of a molecule. So we'll double the number of everything. So there's seven oxygen and two propane. Now we'll break these bonds. This is carbon monoxide. Now I'll divide this number by two, as if only one mole of propane had been used, so it can be compared to the other results. What if there were only two oxygen molecules? This other atom is just carbon, and it has no bonds. So here are the three types of combustion. As you can see, Complete combustion releases the most energy if you use the same amount of propane.